Hello, this is Laura Thurman and I'm here to help you with art therapy. Are you stressed? Have you ever thought how your stress looks like? Hmm. So what we are going to do today is we are going to create something really fun and it's going to be your stress monster. How does it look like? So remember art therapy. The goal of art therapy is to create a creative process to gain self-awareness and self-reflection -reflect in order to gain personal insight and develop self-control over all those emotions. So I am just going to do this as a fun thing. You can do it even with your children. You can ask them, how are you feeling? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling upset? Are you feeling depressed? Are you feeling stressed? How does it look like? And by doing that, what, do, what we're doing is actually something really meaningful, more meaningful than you think. What we are doing is separating, separating this, this anxiety, maybe this anger. We're separating it from yourself. So you are not your anger. So usually what we do is we say, I am angry. I am an angry person. I am upset. I am a stressed person. I'm an, I'm an anxious person. And that's something that makes us in a subconscious way to think that we are really what we think we are. Remember that everything is created by our imagination. So if we are creating now this character, you are going to start separating the, the characteristic of your emotion with this um, with yourself. I mean, yourself needs to be separate from this character that is the one that is taking over your emotions. So this is a fun thing. You can do it yourself. You can do it with your children. And actually this works for adults or kids because if you think about it, when you start saying that you are this, actually you are creating this pattern in your mind that you are really this person. So if you react in anger, or if you react upset, or you react depressed, it's because you are telling yourself that you are. But if we put this character, and we can hang it somewhere that we can see, and we separate our person from this, this scary monster that is scaring us and making us do all these things that are limited. When we are unlimited, when we have so much potential in our life, when we are incredibly amazing, when we have so much, so much beauty inside, why do we let this monster to come and take over? So it's a great exercise for you to just separate yourself from what you are feeling right now. So you are not this character. You are something much better. When you finish doing this, however you want to do it, when you finish creating your monster, however you want to create it, I want you to actually make another picture. And uh, what I want you to do is, this picture is going to be a picture of you without this character in your life. Okay, so if this character is a scary character that is making your life so difficult, maybe it's laughing at you, I don't know. But if this character is making your life so miserable and you can separate yourself from this, let's see what it's doing to you. So what I want you to do is, I want you to draw whomever you are. Oh, we have a visitor, hi. <laughs> So you can draw yourself, however you want to represent yourself, okay? I'm gonna do a very quick sketch. And this is me. And what is it doing to me? This character is making me miserable. I am feeling stress. I am feeling, uh, I'm feeling negative. I'm feeling 
that I, hi, how are you? I have a little spider visiting me, isn't that so adorable? I'm sorry, but I think that all living beings deserve to live. I cannot kill a spider or an animal. So anyways, um, so what is this monster doing to me? What is it doing? Actually, is it changing me? I'm a very, very, very beautiful being with a beautiful heart. But when this appears in my mind, what is it doing? Is it actually make my heart shine? Or is it actually making my heart dark? And without this character in my life, who am I? Am I a peaceful person? Am I, am I a beautiful living being that wants the best for my family, for my children, for everybody that I love? And if you separate this, you are going to see and understand that you are not this monster. You are not this thing that possesses you to, may, to maybe yell or cry or to do things that then you regret. So if you separate this, then this is you. And what I want you to do, and remember everything starts in your mind, is you're going to draw a bubble around you. And this bubble is so powerful and it has so much light that actually is gonna shine the light even towards that, that monster. That's gonna show your compassion towards this, this thing that is uh, not part of you but that you can actually shut off whenever you need to. It's just about training your mind. And actually you're gonna love, you're gonna even show compassion to that thing, to this monster, because that monster is still scared and that monster can disappear and you can actually be free. So, this is just a little sketch and a little uh, way for you to express yourself and have a really good day today. So please don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot of these videos. Um, I'm going to have, this is like fast, but right to the point when you are feeling that you are in that moment, just stop, grab your colored pencils, grab whatever you have and give yourself time to think better. So I hope that this helped and please remember to subscribe and uh, also there's art lessons available. So thank you so much.